Hey there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you paying close attention? Because what you're about to learn is there's another world out there. One that looks like ours, but just a little different. Like a fantasy world. The great thing about fantasies is that they're just that. Make believe. Until they aren't anymore. This is where we are. Where fantasy and reality meet. Sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. But that's the beauty of this kind of world. You can do it over and over until things are just right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when my work still did Casual Friday. What a mess that was. I know. All it's good for is starting drama. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm just glad I got out of there before any more of my hair turned gray. <laughs> oh yeah? How's the corner office working out for you, Arthur? Oh, the view is good. But the pay's even better. Any funny stories you can tell us? Yeah, yeah. I heard that someone snuck a donkey into Seabring's office once. <laughs> you know I can't talk about that. But give me a minute. I'm gonna hit the john when I get back. I have a story that will blow your mind. <laughs> Ty's soaking wet, he says. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Reports appear below par. All right. Let's try something edgier. And she says, the only thing I want to see that's six inches is a $100 bill. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would kill to work up there. It sounds like a madhouse. Tell me about it. Half the time, I think Sebring promoted him just because of his jokes. And his work ethic. It's bad. Excuse me. Where are you going, long time no fee? I'm just gonna go check on the baklava. Oh, go, go. <laughs> Simulate. Because he put on the wrong sock. <laughs> Loading next sequence. If you break me, you're gonna have more than just seven years of bad luck. <laughs> Loading. And she screams. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> There you go. Forget where your own bathroom is. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. I insist. Host goes first. See ya. I mean, how did they afford that new truck? They're both out of jobs. Maybe Josh has some money saved up. Oh, fat chance. Uh, Connor's still not back. I haven't seen him. Arthur? Well, that's what our Miss Cooking will do to you. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you though, constipation is a pain in the ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
So where's the problem? Right over here. Buddy, I haven't had this much fun at a dinner party in a long time. Your stories are to die for. They can be killer. Ah, uh, buddy, I hope you saved your receipt, because I have a feeling that this is a- Whoa! No! <laughs> That's it. Simulation complete. <laughs> and it's always got to be art for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Art? Yeah. It was just kind of cheap. Sorry? Joke. Seem kind of elementary. But we can't all be all stars like you, buddy. <laughs> Is that so? You want to go help me with the baklava, Trish? Should almost be done. Sure. Mm -hmm. what I said about dinner. It was just a joke. It was excellent. Yeah. I know. It was a good one. I wish I'd have thought of it, actually. Well, maybe I've moved up to middle school then? Maybe someday. Well, with your... Hey, Connor. You good with your hands? I suppose so. Well, I've got this problem. I think you might be just the right man for the job. What is it? Bought this new grill, it's out back. Doesn't seem to want to cooperate with me. Paid a pretty penny for it too. If I don't get it working right, Ann's just gonna kill me. You mind taking a look? Of course. Lead the way. Let me say, I think you come to the right person. Now you see why I warned you. With his mind having a taste of blood, he commits the final act, the crescendo to the night, the ultimate... Yeah.